Hi Zachary, uh, first of all welcome to Hunt Family. This will be a quality check of your gun, if I, of your uppercut. So, let's go, let's start with uh, getting bullets in. One, two, three, four, five, six, there you go. Let's check combination between hammer, trigger and cylinder. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's working. There you go. And now the same getting bullets out. We will need extractor rod for that. That's in. So well actually you can slide them out without extractor rod, but just to speed up the process. If you want to reload them more quicker. So here you go. That works, that works. And there's one thing I want to straight uh, tell you straight away. I mean like give you a tip. Safety tip. So there could be situations when uh, extractor rod, you know, it, it locks here. It needs to lock here. But for example, maybe in a speed or you just you don't lock it and it falls inside inside the cylinder like this. So it's not turning. If you'll try to pull back the hammer, it's not going back. Let's imagine you didn't notice this. So it's not going back. And whatever you do, whenever hammer is not going back, don't put extra pressure on hammer. Because there are small bits inside. If you go till the end when cylinder is not turning, it's all gone. So basically combination between hammer, trigger and cylinder will be gone. You'll be still able to, to pull the... Uh, wait. You will still be able to pull the hammer back and lock it. But cylinder will not be spinning anymore. And there are two clicks when you pull back the hammer. One, two. So that's the thing. If that falls in, you try to go. You see, it went just once. There should be one more click at the end. It's not going. Don't force it. Don't force it. Or if you force it, all inside will be gone. There you go. So that's one of the reasons why it could be stuck. If you don't lock it and accidentally falls in. Cylinder. Other one, well, Kind of hard to happen, but still possibility. When you load bullets in or out, you kind of don't lock this thing back and bullet stays halfway like this. Again, you try to pull a hammer back, it's not going. Definitely don't put the pressure on it. You can see by hand, you can check your cylinder is not uh, turning, so there's something must be wrong. Have a look at the extractor rod. It fell out itself, but let's imagine it doesn't fall out and it's stuck somehow like that. So this is sorted out, Hold on, but still not working. And then you can see, yeah, bullet is stuck. So we just take it in, take it out, it's our choice. There you go. And one thing, it's still uh, the gun, uppercut, can still be taken apart. Like you can see this extra rod in and out easily, but also this thing. So you can take it apart really easily. Because I will send gun to you like uh, give me a second, like this. So go to you by, like this. First of all, if it saves space on the box in the box, and also maybe you want to add some little touches. I don't know, like paint some there here, paint some different colors, like make it more skin, uh, more personalized. So that's the reason you can you can have each part different uh, separately. You can paint cylinder different, put it back in, because it would be harder if the gun would be like all together. And also getting it back together, like cylinder comes off easily, right? As you saw, comes off easily, like this. When you put it back, I'll take this. When you put it back. Cylinder could be stuck against this thing. You can see, yeah, this thing. Listen, that is the locking bolt that locks cylinder inside these holes. So cylinder is not spinning around freely. So when you put back cylinder, you will need to get that thing down. And the best way to do it, you see, when I pull hammer back, it slides down. You see, I pull back, it slides down, and then it's free to go. Not completely, when you do it completely, it comes back up. But right in the beginning, before uh, pulling back hammer, it slides down. 
So if you want to get cylinder back and it's not going, pull hammer back down a little bit, it goes down, cylinder is on. So easy. Like I said, you can put it back together also like less than 10 seconds. Well, maybe it could be five if you, I don't know, train for it. So now it's back together. And that's it, I showed you the, oh yeah. So this is the thing that holds it together, this bit. You see now it slides forwards, backwards. So whenever a gun is ready, or straight away, if you think like, ah, nothing to change, I'll just put it together. Put this in, it's not sliding anymore. This is the place where you can see in and out. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of super glue here, or plastic glue, any super, and gun is solid, not moving anymore. You can't take it apart. Well, you can't take it apart, but it will break. So, tiny bit of glue here, and also this thing is attached to the thing. Here. So, tiny bit of glue here, inside preferably, so it can't be seen, then it's not moving out. Dot here, dot here, done. So then, gun is solid and ready to use. Okay, that's it, everything is covered. Let's pack it and send it to you. And again, welcome to Hunt Family.